Hey guys, John Luxy here, back with our playthrough of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. So this is potentially the last episode. Uh, it will depend though on... It's a little better. It will depend on how long it actually takes because there's two endings. You get to choose who you want to play as, Optimus or Megatron, when either defending or assaulting the Ark. Ah. That volume is never gonna, never gonna be the right level, but it's okay. Chapter 13, Till All Are One. The epic conclusion is at hand, as the Nemesis and Ark are locked in a final battle and both sides spiral into the Space Bridge portal. Should we go with the original G1 Optimus? Um... I... I... I think not. I don't want it to look weird. I mean, not that I'm saying the... this... Oh. Not that I'm saying this looks weird, but there's gonna be some interactions. And I don't want... Because it looks like the model... Is differently proportioned. So I don't want Megatron be doing to be doing like the little hover hand thing with Optimus. Or the uh, or the Bioware thing where he punches and he's like, ugh! Oh, but the punch goes past his face. And he's like, ah! Oh. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, you know what's really bad though? I was watching... Whatever, one of the first Bioware games, I think it was, was it, um, what was the Star Wars one? Knights, not Knights of the Old Republic. Was it Knights of the Old Republic? The single player one. I don't remember. I think it's Knights of the Old Republic. I cannot, I'm having a, a moment for the life of me, but it, but they were doing stuff which is forgivable because that was 20 years ago maybe um but the the animations look to be the same with like Mass Effect Andromeda right and I know studios don't learn right studios are made of people studios themselves don't learn people come and go but you would think that experience would carry over and they would at least make it look if a studio has been around forever like they're not a new studio you'd think they'd have some level of experience and make it look decent not the same as a studio from 20 years ago but that's just me anyway we'll go with uh we'll stick with the original or you know the this game's stuff and um yeah so let's let's start This cutscene's awesome. We're going to watch it again. Alright, Manny, are you ready? Chapter 13, Till All Are One. Make sure those tow cables hit their mark. I've mapped out precise weak points to hit. Once we've latched on, I'll start dispatching the boarding parties. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, what? Yes, sir. Sir? That's more like it. Those Autobots won't know what'll hit them. Megatron had the Nemesis designed for maximum carnage. Yes, sir, sir. That's right, Manny. All right, we'll access the store. We'll go ahead and switch to these. Uh, 
yeah, okay. And then we'll get some of these as well. All right. Ah, cannon fire jam the door release. You got any ideas, Soundwave? Rumble, stand by for ejection. Says E to speak with Vortex. Your chariot awaits, Soundwave. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Affirmative. Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, this thing's stable. I thought I was gonna be on the inside with the others. Not enough room. You got this. What, so I just ride the thing? You got this. Uh, you sure? Because there looked like there was still plenty of room on the inside with everyone else. <laughs> yeah, but they don't like you. Co cable, launch! Well, there it goes. Make sure those cannons are fed and firing all the time. We want to pummel the arc with a constant barrage. I'll make sure to keep a steady stream of fire, sir. I can hardly believe this ship was once that chump Trypticon. Gotta admit, Soundwave's redesign protocol provided some nice upgrades. If you say so, sir. Once all the guns are set, meet your party and get ready to board. No one sits this fight out. I'll see you on the other side. Not even Megatron's gonna sit it out. We already know he fights with Optimus. Wait, wait. oh yeah. Hey, Soundwave! Nice job on the Nemesis protocol. Nemesis superior. Shepnikon inferior. He's talking about an original Cybertronian and a giant one. Basically, kind of the equivalent to Metroplex. Yeah, that door is jammed. Gotta find a way to pry it open. All right, Rumble. This is why I love Soundwave. Let him have it. Because he gets to summon minions, basically. Remember that guy from before? We're gonna ride the tow cable as well. We gotta get through that door. Laser Laserbeak's progress. That's no good. Decepticons have breached the ship! Autobots, on your right! There you go. Rumble gets him too. It's basically a one-hit kill thing, but it's um. Let's try the cannon. That didn't work as well as I thought it might. Excellent laser beak. Access acquired. More guys. Nope, not just yet. Alright, well that was a that was okay. We're still gonna use the weapons because they're it seems like they're one-hit kills, which is nice, but uh Get ready to crumble! Before rumble! Return. Man, I wish I could play through a whole level like this. Soundwave! The Ark's defensive cannons are taking their toll! Destroy them! Yes, Lord Megatron. Rumble, eject. Let's rumble! Uh. 
the only problem is he stands there and takes fire while uh Disable this cannon. Shockwave! I want those energon silos offline! The dark silos located to the shade and sabotage. Affirmative! One cannon has fallen silent! Sniper threat acknowledged. Man, I love those guys. Well, while they're doing that, we can just do this. So I think Rumble is still over there. We'll, uh... We'll link up with Rumble in just a second. Hmm. There we go. Where's, uh... Oh. I think Rumble's probably just stuck over there. I don't think he's actually fighting. See, I shot the, uh, the shotgun guy once. Didn't kill him. A little bit surprised. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe it. No, see, that one did the same thing. I love that so much. Are there still enemies? That's all that we get to play with Soundwave. All flyers and aerial bots to launch bays. Several those tow cables are being overrun. Jetfire, launch two niner in route. On the other hand, we get to switch between Autobots and Decepticons as they fight on the arc. Get some boosts. Right on it, burn. Look at this. this the armor and the outer skin will shatter. So our objective is to stop the tow cables. a little bit. Did that hit it? 
Uh, we'll just deplete all our ammo. The tow cable must have a weak point. Keep searching. Acknowledge Optimus. Out of ammo. There we go. Yep, we're taking fire also. Honestly, I don't remember where the... Oh. But it's a whole, it's a whole link. All right, well. I think you can take these down. I mean, I, I did, right? There we go. No additional weapons. Target acquired. Nice work, Jetfire. You're stemming the tide. All right, let's destroy the last. Gotta watch over those sentry guns. Yep, there's sentry guns over there, but that doesn't matter. Cables are severed, Optimus. We need worry about any more Decepticons crossing. <laughs> We're Bruticus. Is crawling with Autobots. And out of my way! No mercy, Bruticus! Make your way to the propulsion deck and gut their engines! The Autobots must not reach that space portal! On my way! Unfortunately, it doesn't use the skin from the other chapter, but, um, you know, what can you do? I'm taking hits. So he kind of melees a little bit like uh, Grimlock. He does like the combo. I love the sound of Autobots crunching under my feet. Hit him with something that will slow him down. Like what? The starship? Just keep firing. The bigger they are, the harder. The harder they hit. <laughs> Sonic Pain Wave. they switch it up like that it's like oh jetfire again oh no jazz okay let's go speak with autobot soldier the decepticons are winning aren't they we don't have a chance don't be that way can i talk to you what hope do we have against that thing well Oh, I know just what to do with this. Yes. Now you can also get the Path Blaster, but the Subsonic Repeater is decent for this fight. We couldn't stop it. Too powerful. So you have a choice of weapons. You have your shotgun, your pistol, basically, or machine gun. Wiped out the whole platoon with one punch. 
Yeah. Or you can go with the neutron assault rifle as well. Go get him, Jazz. Basically, you have your choice. Choice of weapons. Go, Jetfire. My spark is finished. Keep your focus, soldier. We'll get through this. Jazz, I need to find Ratchet. When I return, I can back you up with an airstrike. Don't keep me waiting long, Flyboy. Yep. It's Jazz. We got a chance now. Oh, Bruticus. Well, you are even uglier up close. Ouch. The little Autobot wants to play. Grenade in the air. Let's see you dodge this, Autobot. Look out! Incoming! Oh, yeah. So, basically, just hit him. Just hit him a bunch. Yeah, time to get up close and personal. Take this, big guy. Nobody does that to me. Oh yeah. Try this on for size. Whoa, whoa! Let's watch my step. Yep. Him up. Take this big guy. Then just shoot him in the head. Nobody does that to me. Or oh, really start to boil my oil. You don't think I'm coming near that, do you? No problem. It slices, it dices. But wait, there's more. That shoes a handful. Just fire! If you're done playing nurse bait, I sure could use your help. Already on it, Jazz. Lure him to this EMP mine and keep him there. We'll take care of the rest. All right, I can do that. He's coming towards me, so you basically just, you know. Good. Now keep him there. Q targeting targeting mode. Press space. Space. I can't you talk. It gives you the artillery strike when you knock him down. Really Alright, where is it? Right there. There was a leaper also. Ouch. You just gotta watch out for the leaper while you're doing it. Nice! Asteroid commencing! I actually felt that! Yeah, he's on fire. Destroy me, Megatron. Others will rise to defeat your tyranny. Then I'll just have to destroy you all! Bumblebee! What a waste of energon! After eons of conflict, I finally see the truth of your words, Megatron. And what might that be? This universe, no matter how vast, will never be big enough for you and I to coexist. Optimus is mad. Choose Megatron or Optimus. So the endings are, well... I mean, they're both kind of the same, but it's... It's, uh, which do you want to go with? Um, so, I mean, when I was doing the, the practice run for this, finishing the game so I could get the Electro Bolter and the Glass Gas Cannon, uh, I played as Megatron, 
and I remember them being a little bit different because it's been a while since I've played Optimus. I can't remember. I'm going to do both. I'll probably do... Yeah, they're, they're different, just the fights. I mean, obviously the ending is basically the same. Both ships get pulled into the portal, um, but... Uh... I'll do Megatron, and then after the fight, before the credits, I'll cut, and then we'll we'll do the Optimus, because it looks like we have enough time. All right, so let's uh let's do this. We're gonna do Megatron first because I think Optimus. I mean, Optimus is the hero. You have to go with him, right? So we're gonna end on the the true ending, so to speak, right? Okay. And this is actually really hard. Let's finish this! You're finished, Megatron. Never! I'm just warming up! Oh, see? It's... it's a little awkward. It's definitely more made for a controller. It actually makes us punch Optimus. On the contrary. My friends are the source of my strength. That's right, Optimus. Not bad for a librarian. Perhaps you should have spent more time in the pit. And perhaps you should have spent more oh. time in the library. See, stuff like that is is. You were a records clerk when I found you. You will be dust when I'm through with you. You're gonna talk or fight, Megatron. Ah, he's tough. I could die here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. It's It's cuz it's so awkward. Attack. There we go. See like that's why I didn't want to Thus begins the uh, original cartoon series. Credits are now, I think. Yep. Let's quit those real fast. Um, because, 
you know, it'll, we'll see him in a minute. It's, uh, and I will, uh, I will cut here and then we'll do the Optimus battle. All right, see ya, like, in two seconds. Bumblebee! What a waste of energon! After eons of conflict, I finally see the truth of your words, Megatron. And what might that be, Optimus? This universe, no matter how vast, will never be big enough for you and I to coexist. All right, it's time. It's time. Right, Manny? That's right. No one can stop me! You're finished, Megatron. Never! I'm just warming up! Oh. Ah. Okay, well, that... So it's the same thing as before, just a little bit different. So Johnny Flash did a really good job um, editing these two fights together. So it looks like one cohesive. You know, so it looks like one cohesive. <laughs> one cohesive scene. See, they're both pretty brutal. This ends now. This ends when I say it ends. Not bad for a library. Perhaps you should have spent more time in the pit. And perhaps you should have spent more time in the library. <laughs> See, that didn't even take too long. That was like three minutes. See, it looks it looks kind of awkward how big they are, like the chests and stuff. But then I remember that Megatron originally had a huge freaking chest, like the original cartoon. So it's fine. But yeah, so now we're gonna see the credit scene, and it's definitely gonna get me a content ID claim of some kind but whatever you know that's that's part of this business we uh you know right manny right good job though i moon too bad Till you got all are one too bad you got disbanded Yeah, really great.
is our best and last hope, my friend. You got the touch. You got the power. See, there's Sludge, who didn't make it in, but it's all right. There's Soundwave as the boombox, or, you know. It's a really positive song, also. Right, Manny? See, I'm not sure who's on Slug's back. Is that supposed to be Swoop? I think it's Swoop. Oh, don't go anywhere, Manny. Don't go. Don't go. Here, I'll hold you. Okay. Here. Oh, he doesn't want to be held. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You gonna walk in front of the monitor now? And that's it. Oh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to almost... Okay. Well, that is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys enjoyed these episodes. Uh, this is a fantastic game. It is... Um, I remember when they first got discontinued, or they were going to be. And I'd always been thinking about it. You know, I don't actually remember if I got it before or after. When did they get discontinued? 2017? Maybe. Maybe. I think I got it before. Because I remember reading... Like, people were talking about it. Like, how, uh... Activision was gonna lose the license, or, or something like that, and then... I'm, I can barely remember, so maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but... But it was like, this war for Cybertron and, uh, Devastation... Hmm. Excuse me. And, uh, they were like, well, if you're going to play one of them, play this one, because it's definitely the most, um, cat hair. Definitely the most, um, true. Although I, I, I kind of disagree with that. I feel like, uh, Devastation's pretty good as well. As far as... Devastation feels like how you would play with the action figures. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, uh, yawning really bad now, but, um, yeah. No, but Devastation's pretty good. You know, it feels like how they would actually fight. Kind of. Like, I could imagine Starscream flying in as a jet, doing, like, a strafing run then switching into a robot in the middle and shooting everybody, then switching back into a jet and flying off again. Not that, oh, I'm gonna stay on the land and just, you know, stick behind cover and stuff. It's like, their vehicles, they have other tactical options. Um, but yeah, if, if this game, you know, if you watched it this far, thank you very much. If it looks interesting, um, maybe acquire it. You can always buy a, a used physical copy, that way you'll have it forever. Um, you know, for, for use on your PS3. I think there's a... I think there's a HD one on PS4. Probably using these graphics. The PC version. Um, I think that's why the... I think that's why the, the movies look so downscaled compared to the graphics for this. Because this, I believe, is like 1080p. And the movies were made for... Probably 720, maybe even lower, because it was a PS3 game, and PS3 didn't always use 720. So, who knows? Who knows? Um, but, but yeah, that's all for now. 
Um, I'm still doing the Eternal Daughter playthrough, just rarely because I've been I've been working a lot lately, and it's it's not the type of game that you play to relax. It is super hard, very stressful, but I will continue with that. Um, God, I was to be fair, I was feeling tired. It's like late ish. And, uh, yeah, I'm sleep deprived just in general. Sleep apnea and insomnia. So when I do fall asleep, I can't stay asleep. It's, it's a real, it's a real pain. But, you know, enough about me. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. So what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's, um, we have a, a Christmas party coming up with, uh, a white elephant. It's like a secret Santa where you can steal the gift, but it can only be stolen twice. And so they made a rule, no gag gifts. They, uh, for whatever reason, they didn't make it a alcohol-only one like I suggested, which I think would have made everyone happy. But whatever, so I got a bottle of booze. I got a, uh, what is it? Um, Irish whiskey proper number 12 which is pretty decent if you haven't tried it and you're you're into alcohol um if you're not don't worry about it but um yeah that's my unique positive moment that i got the gift for the white elephant so that's mine hopefully your guys is just as good if not better hopefully better of course i was about to <sighs> repress the yawn uh, but that's, I do hope to see you guys next time. And until then, guys, take care. I'm going to end here before I yawn again. Take care.